today is a pretty cool day. It is the end of a very, very long journey uh, in which we are finally going to finish disposing of the mulch pile. Uh, the mulch has been a really fun project. Uh, we'll show you here in a few minutes uh, what we did with it, what it looked like when it got here, the pros and cons of having a chip dump mulch drop. Um, it's free, so that's nice, but we'll go through it all here in a minute. Uh, but here's what we're left with. And I'm sure that my neighbors will be glad to see it gone. It's been here for a year almost, about three months shy of a year. So nine months, that's just incredible how long it took us to process through. Anyway, here we go. I'm going to get rid of this, thankfully, a little bit more into our garbage, a little bit more into our green can, and then it will be gone for good. And I can get back to my fencing project. Fun times. So we used a service called Chip Drop in order to get our mulch. And I gotta say, you, you gotta give it to a company uh, that puts on their homepage a video about why you probably don't wanna use their service. It means they know who they are and they know what they're doing. And they're right, their service may not be for you. Um, but if it is, it can be a really cool thing. I'll link to that video in the description below. You should definitely check it out. So one aspect of having a chip drop that can be either cool or not cool is you never really know what you're going to get in the drop itself. Um, you might get something really horrible, like a lot of trash. You might, on the other hand, get something really cool, like palm chips. Uh, palm chips are really good for specific ap applications, especially here in Southern California. Um, and this is something that, as opposed to making you the enemy of the neighborhood for having a truckload of mulch dropped in front of your house, might make you the hero of the neighborhood because other people might want to pick up that palm. So yeah, overall, I would say we're pretty pleased with what we got. Um, most of it was actual chips, and it worked great for our purposes. In addition to the gorilla hair palm, that gardener's prize, we did get a lot of palm fronds and husks that were not pulverized. But considering those make for great kindling for our fire pit, uh, no complaints there. It was, however, a ton of mulch. It was way more than I think we were expecting and way more than you think you might get. When it hits your driveway, it can be a bit of a shock. Uh, in the end, though, uh, we used Craigslist to advertise what we didn't need, and we ended up meeting a lot of really cool local people in nearby neighborhoods who needed mulch but who couldn't handle an entire chip drop on their own. This service helps arborists who need to get rid of mulch quickly and effectively as a part of doing business. And if you're able to take and use their chips, it's absolutely free. All right, so let's take a look at where all that mulch went. Here is my beautiful wife to walk us through a little tour of what we have planted in our front parkway. Go ahead. First of all, this big one is a Pride of Madeira. We have two of those, which we took from cuttings and raised from teeny little guys, and they're doing quite well. And then down here we have some poppies and some other poppies, different varieties, but mostly California poppies are ready to come up, which is very exciting. This one here is a star flower. Uh, it's a pentas, it's little pink flowers. Um, hiding over here, we have, well, you can't even see it, so we won't even talk about it, but there's a little guy under there who is, um, I need to trim this one. And this is oregano that is a ground cover uh, going to seed. And these here are one of my absolute favorites. These are naked ladies, uh, also known as belladonna amaryllis. Um, they will lose their leaves in the summer, late summer, and shoot up pink flowers with no leaves on the stems, giving them the naked lady name. Uh, these were taken from my brother's house in Northern California. They are family heirlooms. Um, over here we have a lavender plant and a few other different flowers. There's a daydream armeria. And these are both calendula plants, the, the yellow and the orange calendula plant flowers um, of the bonbon variety. This here is a tulip magnolia tree, a saucer magnolia uh, alexandria. And around the tulip saucer magnolia tree, we have a ground cover of woolly thyme. 
And this is a what I thought was a weed, um, but I actually quite like it. It's a ribwort plantain. Uh, and here we have a geranium, a sweet pea bush. Not sure of the scientific name of that one. These will be asters, New York asters to be more specific, purple. You can kind of see some coming up here, but they've gone to seed uh, and then they'll sprout up once again. I don't know what this is. This is a mystery plant that I planted, mystery bulbs, but they do look like that they might end up being naked ladies as well, I really hope so. Around the other side of this big pride of Madeira here, we have a really cool variety of lavender. It's called like, I can't remember what it's called, Milo or something like that. I don't know. That was a plant adoption. A lot of my plants came from discarded plants by a neighbor landscaper. So a lot of them I had to figure out what they are. Um, and some are still a mystery like that one over there. This is a white geranium. This is a rose, easy does it rose. This is a type of fern. I don't remember the name. Over here we have a jade. Um, and then several other succulents on this side. Uh, Cape aloe, white ghost succulents. We have another geranium. Some more calendula of a different variety. And also known as pot marigold. And sticks on fire, which I expect will end up getting quite large, like the one in our other parkway, uh, with various other succulents circling it. And a really pretty desert apple ground cover. Yeah, so that's our amazing parkway. And this is basically what we used our mulch for, uh, aside for some like ground cover in our backyard to suppress weeds um, before we're able to remodel that area. But yeah, thank you very much for the tour. You're we'll welcome. see you next time.